Hello everyone, so Zaman is back with another bash tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can create dialog bo boxes in bash so let's get into it and the tool that we are gonna use is web tile so let's install it to install it all you need is to just type uh, sodo apt install and web tile and hit enter it is going to ask you to enter your password and i have already installed it so as you can see web tile is already in the newest version so let's create a simple dialog box with web tile so simple web tile dialog box would be let's say yes and no so let's create it to create a dialog box with yes and no let's uh, for that all you need is just type a web tile and then dash dash yes and no and then the text that you want to display over there so let's say are you sure and then the width and the height for the dialog box so let's say 40 and say 10 and if i hit enter the width and height is very big so the first one is the height and the second one is the width so the height is going to be 10 and the width is going to be 20 and here we go this is the dialog box that we created with white tail and if I move the right and left arrow we can choose yes and no and this is this will turn boolean value so you can do whatever you want if something is true and if the user enter yes or no so this is the basic example of white tail now you can move this to script so let's create a script inside temp directory and this directory in empty so let's use nano editor and let's call it test.sh and let's create a simple bash script shebang let's say i want to return something at the user print yes and uh, you return something else at the user press no do that let's type f and with tail tail and then the dash yes and no and then the text that you want to display there let's say are you sure about this exclamation mark and the height is going to be 10 and the width is going to be if this is true then what you need to do so we will type let's say hey you press yes or you choose yes whatever you want to display there and if this is not the case then you can display something else so let's display hey yes so let's just display you pressed uh, no you can type what you want so let's save this and here we have the script and let's run it bash test.sh and as you can see it automatically displays the dialog box and if i choose yes it's going to display the message that was uh, because it was true it returns true and false values so if it is true it will return this and if it's false it will return if i choose false as you can see it returns you press no so if i it actually returns true and false values so that is yes and no dialog box now let's create another dialog box and let's say just uh, i want to dis uh, display just a message to the user so to do that we can type a web tail and then this message message box and then the message let's say hey this is just a message and then the width and the height so let's choose the height is to be let's say 15 and the width has to be 30 and if i hit enter we did something wrong so it should not be in the course as you can see we have displayed hey this is just a message and if i press ok nothing happened the next dialog box that we can uh, display and create with web tail is the message box and it's pretty useful so you can ask user to enter your name you could uh, credentials and stuff like that and for the password we have a separate uh, dialog box so we will try that later let's create input box and the message has to be let's say enter your name if i can type it enter your name uh, then the uh, height so let's say 10 the uh, width has to be let's say 30 and we can pass initial value right here so let's say i will just type my name the first name and if i hit enter as you can see the dialog box here enter your name and automatically the name that we initialize there is right here so let's complete the name and if I press tab as you can see we can cancel as well as ok press so if I press ok as you can see we have the name right here and if I press cancel it is going to cancel the, the execution of this program and it will not display the output that it's going to return from there that's the input box and the same we have for password box so uh, let's try it we can uh, initialize it with the password as well but let's first change 
the input box to password box and it's pretty the same enter your let's say password and this is going to be hidden height and web so and i'll just type us and here we go we have three letters which is pass so we can type our password and if i hit enter as you can see it displays it returns that and you can pass this to a variable and then you can use it in the script now this is not the end of this tutorial there are a lot to uh, explore in this uh, small package so if i type uh, if i just uh, see the main page of web tile as you can see there are a lot to see right here and i will uh, share a blog post about this which uh, provides some more menus some more dialog boxes as well as you can see here uh, menus and other info boxes check boxes radio boxes gauge boxes and so on go ahead and explore this yourself thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one and yes make sure to like and subscribe to this channel